my name is Juanisha Mann and I am the Edgecombe County Public Schools Home Based Director. In Edgecombe County, we are focused, connected, and ready to utilize SchoolNet as a data-based instructional decision-making tool. All K-12 teachers are trained on SchoolNet through the deployment of three training goals. In goal one, all teachers are focusing on assessments. And in this goal, the teacher has a chance to experience firsthand how students take an assessment and best practices to ensure that student success is inevitable when taking tests online. They also learn of the different item types and tools used in SchoolNet. After creating items within the system, they are then trained on how to create an express test and a manual test for their students. In goal two of SchoolNet training, this training focuses in on instructional resources and data. We begin with a review of the layout and structure of SchoolNet, and teachers are introduced to the student performance area of the classroom tab. Here we review each of the different reporting tabs and analyze the purpose for using each tab. Teachers are also challenged to make instructional goals based off of their current data, which they've been collecting since the prior goal. After reviewing each tab, we then focus on where to find the plethora of resources for reteaching which are already in the instructional materials section or wherever you see the mighty M. Change tips in 8th grade. Uh, math. In goal three, the teacher will now focus in on lesson planning and reporting features in SchoolNet. Many teachers are unaware of the information and access to information that they have, which can all be found on the student analysis spreadsheet. And for this reason, each teacher in this goal learns how to run this report first. There's then a transition to find current lesson plans and also create their own plans, submit them for approval, and schedule items on their lesson planner. After the rollout of goals one through three, there was a strong push for teachers to understand how several data points can be utilized with SchoolNet to help them understand their strengths as a teacher. With this in mind, we have also created a goal four training, which focuses on the end of grade and end of course teachers. In this training, teachers get to know their grade, which is the title of our actual training. This involves the use of the year to date feature of the skills analysis report. And this report, this report is ran and then compared to state test specifications data to determine which areas that teachers need to focus in a little bit more before they have their end of the year test. Teachers in this training also review their own EVOS data to determine which subgroups they do very, very well at growing and who they should focus in on. And at the end of the training, we pull all this together as an instructional improvement plan, which really aligns SchoolNet with testing information so and EVOS. what you have so far here. Here you have just put down your domain, the percent that the state is going to test it, and then where your kids are. Now, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you're going to test it. Now, if it said that 50% of your tests come from RI, your kids are currently at 10%, all right? It's not a direct comparison where you can say 10% and 50%, or I'm off by 40. Because remember that in school net, you're looking at the average percent correct of all your kids on that domain, right? But the state test specs is telling you how much of the test is gonna come from that domain. Although the SchoolNet system had some problems statewide early in the administration this year, it is now operating really well and very helpful for our schools. It allows easy access to resources, resources that enable classroom teachers to make informed instructional decisions about the needs of their students. Uh, having one single platform that integrates assessments, curriculum and instruction, and analysis tools together, that has allowed us to utilize assessment data in a much more powerful and meaningful way, and also can provide immediate feedback to teachers. 
uh, from the district point of view, having a comprehensive instructional improvement system that allows us to analyze and allocate resources to areas in need and to celebrate successes uh, is very beneficial as well. And so SchoolNet and the instructional improvement system as a whole have been extremely helpful and valuable to our system. have been very pleased with the support we've received this year for our implementation of SchoolNet. Um, Ms. Mann has done a terrific job of training up all of our teachers and administrators and I think we now feel much more comfortable with using the tools to create assessments, um, to analyze the data from those assessments and then to use that data to drive our instruction. I feel that the training that we received throughout the year um, has really helped me learn how to use SchoolNet more efficiently, as well as how to use the data to help my students perform better and to reach the goals that they need to meet. So I feel as though it's done extremely well and I'm excited to use it more effectively next year as well. I think the support has been uh, invaluable, uh, particularly to teachers and our staff as a whole. Uh, they've really uh, done a great job implementing our school net this year. The support has actually been wonderful. It's been ongoing, which is very critical to our success. Uh, teachers have really uh, been very good in terms of buy-in. The support has been constant. Anytime teachers or uh, even staff in general needed additional help, it's always been a phone call away, so that's been great. Even when it gets to the point where someone actually has to come out to the school and work individually with teachers. We've always been fortunate to have that level of support as well. So I think this first year has been absolutely awesome in terms of the implementation and we have certainly benefited greatly from that support. So we're just looking forward to greater things the upcoming year. So if you notice right here, what type of shape do you have? So how many triangles do we have? Okay, we got two triangles. And we're gonna break them apart right now. This is gonna be your passcode. Basically, the support that we've get, get, um, gained this year from school net training has been wonderful because it was a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I could do with school net to help me better understand how my kids are learning. So what Ms. Mann has taught us has been great. Um, I actually like the idea of us being able to go in and figure out what standards my students are struggling in and then put it in a spreadsheet. So it has been a great help for me and I'm sure it's been a great help for the other teachers. I feel great about SchoolNet that I'm testing on it because I feel like it's smart if I take each test on it and I think each and every time I do, I get smart every day and whenever I put my grades up, I feel great about it and so my parents do. Uh, I think like I like it because like after you finish with the test, if you got like some of them wrong that you didn't understand, you can go and review it and see how you had got it wrong and what you can do better. With. I like it because I can it shows me my grades and I can know what I got to pull up and what I already did. And I also like it because the questions that I got wrong on the thing I can know where I got wrong and how I need to fix that question. I like it because you can review and see what you got, see and study the stuff that you got. I like problems school net because I can go back and look and see what my grades are, see what I need to fix, and when I go back on my test, I can see what mistakes I've made and I can learn from my mistakes. As you can see, SchoolNet holds many benefits for ECPS stakeholders who have increased the use of assessments and real-time data to drive instruction. In Edgecombe County Public Schools, we realize that we have to still retrain and refocus some areas for next year, but many of our teachers have already started to request summer review of sessions so they can come in ready to utilize SchoolNet fresh next year as an instructional planning tool. 
With our first year of school net implementation countywide coming to a close, we now have teachers using online resources and creating their own resources too. While completing trainings next year, our district will begin to focus more on the curriculum side of SchoolNet. This will include teachers sharing instructional resources, applying pacing guides to planners within SchoolNet, selecting high quality resources and assessments to be paced within the school year, and ensuring that all of our teachers are having data-based instructional decision made every day. With SchoolNet in place, we can stay focused, connected, and our learners will be ready for a more individualized school year. And this is how we use SchoolNet in Edgecombe County.